that you can give. Blessed are they who work for peace. Almighty Father of all creation, let your light flow through this world now. Let it shine into the hearts and minds of men. Hello, everyone. My name is Joshua E. Favia. I'm the founder of School of Self, a transformation uh, type of study where different methods, practicing the physical body or the survival using your body or the health of your physical body. These are all separate methods that School of Self deals with and today I'd like to share with you a very basic and simple routine to wake up in the morning and connect to the universal time zone the world is on. How do we do this? Well, I bring, you know, having the longest career in the UFC, I think that um, it was a perfect fit, and I like the dynamic of having a giant and and, and a 5-2 guru, you know, it just, it, it, it makes the story even better. Yeah, for sure. I love it. That's it for me. Good. You're good, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Appreciate it. Hold this for a second. Hold this for a second. Hey, real real quick, guys, just because you don't know who the hell I am, and you guys heard a lot of shit talk and all the good stuff, let's just cut the bullshit on commentating, no low blows on this guy, no trying to turn the narrative that he's fucking up his legacy and all that weird stuff. Let's just keep it fair. You want some video? Contact me and I'll send it to you. You want to know what's going on? You want to actually talk to the people doing it? You might actually have to fucking talk to me. And coming at him like he's going to know all this shit, he ain't. He hasn't been there the whole time. So if anybody needs to actually get those answers, you will have to speak to me. And to do that, probably allowing the media to turn the narrative on the guy that's trying to help people here. And when you respect these two legends, it seems a little disrespectful that you don't recognize that they respect me. And if you're gonna be the one telling the narrative, that's on you when I'm getting shit on by the public, by millions of people. Uh, if you're going to be here, like, leveraging off of all this, man, notice I'm on the end of the shitty stick here, and none of you have stood up for anybody that needed to be stood up for. And that's real. You guys are, like, the tough guys and all this stuff. If nobody's going to... I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You don't know? You don't no. know, you know what I'm referring to? No, I don't know what you're referring oh, to. Okay. And talking... I haven't called one of Diego's fights no, where no, no, you've been talk... in his corner. No, I'm, so... talking about... I'm talking in general. Because of oh, what it's is not happening. my job to, to talk about what the public is talking about outside. It's my job to talk about this athlete Absolutely, and, sir. and his performance. That's not case, what I'm referring it. to. That's not what I'm referring to, and I, I'm not trying to offend you. I'm trying to talk straight about this man's legacy, and in these last moments of when he's in this space, when there's weird things being done, like the camera put on him to ask him questions, when you know that it's illegal to ask Right, but questions. what I'm saying is none of us... I and understand, that and that's all the reason why I'm saying this to you now, because because it's fair you. to say that. You know like, that's my point. And I just don't feel that <sighs> the past couple fights, this man has gotten a fair end of the stick, and sure as shit, I sure haven't either, okay? Because nobody's actually talked to me, met me, moved with me, yet there's a whole lot of shit talk about me, and discrediting this man's opinion on what he knows. Man. The internet is... The media is brutal, bro. We all get it every day. I, somebody I, tell me to kill myself every day. I, I, I understand, man. I understand. But it, it's also quite disrespectful of you to come in here filming this with your speech to us when all of us here have the utmost respect for all of you. And it's our job as 
working for the promotion to respect Diego and everyone around him. We have nothing but good things to say about him. So it's very, but it's, it, it's it, odd it, you're filming it while you're trying to lecture I'm us. just documenting everything. That's okay. all I've done. But the reality is I'm, I'm saying this because of what has happened in the past. Is, anyone, is nobody going to acknowledge that the media... At me that, well, no, the, I, there's no doubt there okay, is some okay. unfair... Well, hang on. I'm just the only thing we care about is telling Diego's story, not yours, candidly. Mm -hmm. And that's Absolutely. what we're going to do. And that's what I'm just... Put in an article. That's no, all we don't I'm need to listen to. to this. We don't need to listen no, to this. No, no, no. You're it, telling it, us we're trying to get us a riot act and how we should do our broadcast. No, it has no issue there. It's a respect thing, man. It has to do with me and the end of my career. So Which we respect. Please listen, bro. Please listen, bro. Because, because something my last fight... No, the last fight was... Listen, man. My last fight, the commentary was horrible on me, man. They disgraced me in my own hometown, man. They were calling me a chicken. Uh, Daniel Cormier was saying how I was uh, drooling at the mouth. Like there was, there was a lot of a lot going on, man. There was a lot going on, and, and, and we're just here to talk to you guys. And that's all I'm it's, saying it's, it's, is if we're, we're going to be honest and look at that here, man. I'm saying this man deserves a fair shot in the sense of let's not go 30 seconds into it and tell the narrative. Oh, any more kicks like that, Diego's done. Yet he's not bleeding. And he's coming out of the round perfectly safe and sound. It so I'm curious. To all the fighters. It doesn't matter who you are. It happens to all the fighters. It, you're you're right. I, it does. But you can't control what they're seeing and relaying to the. Audience. I I understand that. And, and all that I'm saying is a fair it shot of you letting it be seen. Your school or your teaching. What's that? That also has nothing to do with you or your school or your teaching. No, no, no. What it has. They're seeing in the ab game abs absolutely. The abs so absolutely. That's what just I'm what it seems like you're doing. You're, you're making it about yourself. And it's <clears throat> about Diego. I'm sorry. It seems have, like that. It was about the commentating anything, uh, that I'm referring to. About you. No, no. You don't. Let, okay. I'm sorry if your guys are moving so fast in your own worlds with your own articles. Maybe you're not aware of the negative impacts of the media and the things that have been targeted at this man for over a year and a half that have to do with self-esteem, psychology, and all that shit that everybody's wondering about. And I'm trying to understand why is it so hard to talk about respect in that context. I'm just asking for a fair plate. And in the context of commentating and seeing something fair, I kind of think if we're already going to talk negatively before anything even happens, that's painting the picture so nobody sees things clear. Well, and I'm that, happy to connect with you saying. after the fact to get that's, a little bit more insight into what I'm you're saying. doing. I can't Thank speak you, to John. Daniel Cormier. I you know how much that. I respect you. I, I have appreciate it. Absolutely. I, have, I was not Rio Rancho, nor was Paul, right? But I will connect with you and I will try to. I mean, but all I have mentioned on the air is your alignment. No, 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 absolutely. And yeah. if you don't understand what I'm referring to and why I'm speaking adamant like this, please go to Google, go to YouTube, and just, no, real quick. Put in my name, and then see what's going on with the slander. I've seen it. Okay, so you've seen they're it. They're all well aware of it. Oh, so, so if you're well aware, why are we acting like this didn't happen? Why because are you talking? This, this is, is not, not about you. Us. This it's is David, Diego's no, no, no. fighter meeting. There's no reason but it has, it has to do with him. Yeah. That's my There's point. Because you're disrespecting us, and we have other athletes that are waiting right now to be in this room to have the opportunity that Diego just had, and you're lecturing us on something that nobody's we lecturing. I'm trying done. to ask for a fair plight. If, if that's too much to ask for, clearly, it's fine. I was just asking. And, like and a stern we always, we are always giving a fair shot to everyone. Everyone. It is our job. I understand that you've done that. I'm just saying, in this man's experience and what I've witnessed, some things don't seem quite level or fair or just. And when my name has been slandered, when this man's name, legacy, and his career that you would so admire has been slandered, but that part doesn't matter, that's what I'm saying when I'm here helping at the end of his career. That's all. No, that's all. Okay. And I say this out of respect for this same man. That's why I'm willing to talk to you, even though nobody gives a shit. That's the point, man. Like, I care about him just the same as you say you care. And you're not respecting me for doing that. <sighs> Media is yeah, going to... Totally. Listen, that's Definitely. totally understandable, but delivering the message could be in a much when, more respectful we're way. When will, we're when, not filming it to try to. She's not saying the when. Something. She's talking about the how. Yeah, yes. we, we don't need to film anything. You're filming it, not that's us. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Listen, just, just like filming me in the octagon and using it against me. Same shit, man. Like, stop. I'm not putting this on the internet. I'm having a civil conversation, and it's a problem. 
Like seriously, do you guys not see that? I'm just talking and it's a problem. That's interesting. That's interesting when all I'm doing is bringing light yeah, to this. I didn't sign up for your lecture class. I'm out, man. Nobody wanted to lecture you. Press the green button. None of them can be skewed to determine what they're going to say on TV because you don't like the narrative that they went down. That's not how that the commentary works. What articles are written? We don't write articles, right? That's not a part of our job. But if they see something, their job is to provide color and context to what they're seeing in those moments. It's not always correct or right, but that's their job. And maybe it won't be painted perfectly in how you like it. But if you say something like a guy won a first round that they don't agree with, it's their job to say that. Well, they don't have to agree with you. And you don't have to agree with them. But they're still going to have to do their job respectfully. If you felt it was disrespectful, then we appreciate you bringing that to light. And we'll try and see if they, we can balance that commentary. But if you say in a corner that you think a fighter won a round, and our commentators disagree with that, then it's their right to disagree with that. You understand that, right? Yeah. Okay, so we don't want to be skewed by what you're telling us. We don't need to hear a lecture from you. Understood. Have a great day. So we just got back from Abu Dhabi. Diego got off the plane, got a little bit of a limp having to walk slow and, and go to the restroom. And um, as all the people from the UFC went ahead of us, and not one representative cared to look back and see where we were at, they all went to baggage claim, and they all went on a bus and somehow loaded up and left. Us sitting here in the airport so that Diego Nightmare Sanchez is stuck getting food out of a fucking vending machine. This is our reality. So when I'm telling you the UFC is not so respectful or doing Diego right, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this fucking place. There ain't nothing else going on but us. And Diego got left. Did Diego not put on a show? You remember that. Hey, Sean. Hey, Josh. Hey, uh, I've got uh, our chief business officer and our head lawyer here, one and the same. Okay. And uh, we need to chat with you for a minute. Hey, hey Bill. Okay. Um, so I, I just got a text from someone in my medical department uh, basically saying that you called them for a quote formal request for all of Diego's pre-fight medical records, paper copy, unnecessary post-fight records, every physician that he has ever been evaluated by. By the way, we have no control over any of that. That's all commissioned on. So you'd have to make those requests formally with the commission. But more importantly, with the direct quote that I received was, uh, you stated that the quote long-term effects of Diego being an MMA fighter were your basis for requesting it. Yeah. So I, I went through this with Mark Hunt, and here's the reality. If you're concerned or he's concerned that he's having negative effects, then we're not going to fight him, and I'm going to pull the fight right now, and we're going to call it a day, and we'll release him, and he can go do something else with his life because I'm not putting anybody in that cage that doesn't feel 100% or thinks they're suffering from any medical issues. Well, it has more to do with how is his physical body and all the treatments that he's had over – 17 years of injuries in his hands, his face, and all over his body that I'm referring to that if he needs medical attention after his career, how is he supposed to move on without medical records as that's what I'm concerned about. That's all it is, is that if he has to go see another doctor about his hip or his back or any of these things, how, how is that doctor, why would we have to pay for new imaging, new everything when it should be on file? Well, I don't understand because what the problem is. He's having a new issue related to something. He's going to have to get new imaging anyway. So what wouldn't the old imaging matter to understand how to treat him? I mean, I, I don't understand. Why wouldn't him? Why wouldn't an athlete need his medical images saying, of his injuries that he's acquired <laughs> over years? Like, I don't understand That's what the real problem is. Asking it, about there's that. Nothing, there's nothing. It doesn't go through us. Okay. Well, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I didn't call, by the way, to formally ask for that. We called to understand 
about these medical requests being given at four weeks or less and a mandate on the speed of it while I'm in travel, while we're in the middle of a fight camp. And if if they are up on the five year and the three year requirements, why weren't we able to go do these, I don't know, 10 weeks ago, 12 weeks ago when we scheduled the fight. So you not, this, that's all I'm saying is I was trying to understand that. Now I had the medical on the phone and I said, hey, while you're here, can we now ask for these uh, things so that Diego knows all his injuries from over his career and that's it. That's all it is. Like, I don't, yeah. that's all just to be yeah. as here's what, here's what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm send an email to you guys. I'm going to express my concerns. Okay. I need a conversation in writing that he's physically able to compete. He's not suffered any effects of being an MMA fighter. He doesn't feel like he has any brain issues or cognitive issues. I got to go through the whole battery that I go through with everybody that sort of makes a claim that you, at least they're telling me that you made in this situation. And if he's not comfortable doing that, then we pull the fight and we move on. It's very simple. Yeah, we're already, I already called Taylor today and we're already having her schedule all of the medicals to be done starting on the 12th when we return to Albuquerque, sir. So we're like trying to comply. I'm in the middle of travel. I'm trying to have help from your side since the requirements are coming now to be done in three weeks and we still have two other pieces of travel in our camp. And this is all I'm saying is uh, we could have complied to this very easily 10 weeks ago. That's all I'm saying, sir. And okay. But we're talking different issues now. Okay. Well, whatever issues you got, we'll do whatever you need, man. There is no issues on our side. I asked for the same medical things. If he had a bloody nose, why wouldn't we want the records of all these things? I mean, he's about ready to leave the UFC and, and how would we be able to ask for all this stuff later? So as asking formally, as I don't get to speak to very many people in the UFC, and I thought, hey, I might as well say this at this moment. Now, all of a sudden, it's a it's an interesting deal. Like, cool, man. We'll jump through whatever hoops you need. Diego is 100% fine, as he is here with me right now. Um, he's fine, man. Everything's good. So- I mean, you understand my position right i can't ever be in a situation where 10 years from now i got a guy that's drooling on himself in a hospital and i got another guy saying yeah we told the ufc before his last fight that he was having some, all these issues and they put him in there anyway gotcha i understand yeah. that totally hey let me um yeah I'll, I'll leave it at that that's cool so okay. yeah just go ahead and send me an email send me and let me know whatever you need us to do and uh, well, absolutely, everything's good on our side. I simply have been misunderstood because when he's got hands, he's got little tears and breaks. I need to know to what capacity we need to work on fixing and healing his joints once his career's over. That's what I'm looking at. And I need to know when we start to take him to orthopedic and we go into bio accelerator and we've already had stem cell, like there's a lot going on boss, that's all. I just needed to know, and he's concerned because, you know, he it's a yeah, lot of yeah. lot of time. He he, he he's having, uh, you know, I'm like and, 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 when and just you know. I know you have not around for the the entirety of it, but between Dana, Sean, me, the, the people here that really matter and move things and you know control the fight business aspect of this. If Diego needs anything, all he has to do is pick up the phone and call Sean and reach out, and the answer is he's we're going to take care of him. So he's Excellent. got a hand. Okay something that the last thing that i want him fucking worried about is a year from now he's got something wrong with his hand and you know let me know that's okay. all you got to do okay Phone see and this and this is all i needed was an open line of communication because there really hasn't been much and that's why i'm asking about things because i'm just new to the situation and diego's uh you know telling me he's had boo-boos for the you know his whole career i'm like well I'm dealing with your hip now. I'm dealing with your hand right now. Like, okay, what what else we've, have we accumulated? You know what I mean? And that's all, that type of thing. So anyways, just, uh, yeah, send me whatever I need to do and we'll get it done as soon as possible. All right, thanks, Josh. Yes, sir. All right, bye.